Welcome to another Tips and Techniques brought to you by AccuView. Having the opportunity to view hundreds of hours of underwater video, you get a better understanding of what triggers a bite. Most of us spend a lot of time and a lot of money trying to emulate part of the food web. And when fish are feeding, this could be productive. Some anglers don't care why the fish bite. Others become addicted to the bait that they use to get the bite. Most would be very surprised on why fish put things in their mouths. After all, that's what we really want. We only want the fish to put the bait in the mouth. We don't care why. And if we do care why, it's because we want to repeat it. When fish are feeding, they don't miss baits. They can catch a bait at any speed we can present it. They see everything, and they can anticipate which way it's going to move. They react to it with their mouth open. But when fish are not aggressive and they're neutral, other motivations come into play. Listen. Can you hear it? That's right. There's not much going on in there. Fish are born with a simple set of instructions. In that pea size or walnut size, depending on the species, brain, there's only so much room for calculation. But they can learn. Long life cycle fish learn more than short life cycle fish. A lake trout, which can live in excess of 25 years, will learn more and have a more adaptable and variable diet. A Chinook salmon, which lives 3 to 4 years, and 80% of its diet is just L-wives, learns less and depends more on instinct. A Chinook salmon never gets old enough to shy away from a certain bait. It's either edible or it's not. Some panfish, like perch, can live up to 12 years. Smallmouth bass can live up to 20 years. But there's one common denominator between all species, regardless of how old they get. They are born with a certain set of instructions, or instinct. But for now, we only need to focus on one of these instructions. From this instinct or instruction, a fish learns to hunt, eat, what to eat. And since it isn't born with a list of edibles, it learns from experience. And from this experience, it learns curiosity and reaction. And this is what we're looking for. Fish put more things in their mouth for curiosity and reaction than they do actually feeding. Some fish are more curious than others, particularly fish that are at the top of the food chain. Their curiosity can be looking for food or something that's threatening their territory. A big ling doesn't have a lot of predators. Either does a big trout, particularly when it's hunting. The spoon that it hit here actually doesn't look much like food. But the trout doesn't care. He'll put it in his mouth, and if he doesn't like it, he'll spit it out. Unless it has hooks in it. If this bait emulated the target food group for the day, this whitefish wouldn't hesitate. He'd simply roar in and hit it. But instead, he inspected it and then tested it. This fish as well. Curiosity simply got the better of him. This is a perfect curiosity and reaction bite. The flash got his attention, the constant movement kept him there, and finally he bit it. Note that he actually ate the hooks on the paws. It doesn't hurt to have a little flavor in your bait, like this gulp fry wacky. Notice he dropped the bait and then come back and picked it up again. Often if fish are traveling in schools there's a competitive element. One of them will want to be the first to test a bait. This fish wanted to spit this, but it had a hook in it. This trout had been hanging around some dead stick baits for a while. All of a sudden, the right move, and bang! Sometimes it's so subtle little moves after a fish has already taken an interest but won't react. Sometimes it's almost like fish are practicing, experimenting, trying to find out what's edible and what's not. This fish can't possibly think that spoon is food, but he's focusing on that little tiny bead. You can't even feel him mouth the bait. Even this goby is curious, has to go over and see what it is, see if it's food. Whitefish and trout will swim right over gobies to see something that looks out of place. So remember, whenever the bite gets really tough, instead of going for something that looks even more like the forage, try doing exactly the opposite. Take advantage of those instincts. Thanks for watching.